Dragon Age Inquisition's multiplayer is totally worth playing, but it could be better. There are a number of things that make this standalone multiplayer experience worth playing, so let's talk about the good up front, because I try to be optimistic in this life. First off, Inquisition's multiplayer is delightfully bingeable. Each round lasts about 15 to 30 minutes, less than half the typical round of Dota, and it gave me a distinctive case of one more round-itis. This is just long enough to give a satisfying experience, but short enough to keep things moving. The added benefit of having other humans controlling your companions is also one of the mode's highs. Though Bioware has since revealed that Inquisition was initially a multiplayer-only project, I might have gathered that information anyway just from playing the multiplayer mode with other people. Not only do I feel less lonely, but your party responds more intelligently to situations. They pull out and use potions when they're in danger, or they signal you when there's a secret passage you've missed. I wish I could say the same for you, Varric. Bad for morale would be an understatement. Beyond the core mechanics, Inquisition's multiplayer also has a surprising amount of staying power despite the scant three maps included at launch. It's just as satisfying as it is in single player to build up your characters with new gear, improvement slots a la Diablo gems, and more importantly, new skills. In fact, acquiring new skills for your various characters is arguably the most fun aspect of this mode, as the quick loop of dungeon crawl, level up, and repeat allows you a nearly instant payoff in the form of testing out your new abilities or weapons, or what have you. You can also have as many characters as there are classes, and it takes some serious time to unlock every single class if you're not paying real money for chests. You need to craft the unlockable class's armor in order to play as the Assassin, Reaver, and all the rest, and it takes a while to accrue the crafting materials required. You can only get materials from salvaging other items, and each item doesn't provide very much material at all, and you need all of one type of material in order to fill one of the slots, and each armor has four different material slots, and on and on and on and on. You get the picture. You also stand a chance of randomly getting one of these armor sets in the chests that you can buy, but I had no luck in that department. Aww. More new characters and arenas have been promised by Bioware as well, which will give this mode more staying power as they roll out. And now, on to how it could be better. Bioware, if you're listening, I love you guys, but please heed this advice because I really, really want to keep losing myself in this multiplayer, but it just isn't all there yet. The max level of 20 for each character may take a while to reach, but it's definitely too limiting for those who really want to pour themselves into a single character that they particularly like. Unlocking new skills and bettering your character is the best hook this mode has, and if it's to retain any longevity, there's going to need to be a much higher level cap and hopefully more skills to unlock. You can, however, promote a level 20 character back to level 1, and it will grant every one of your characters an additional attribute point, but I'd much rather continue to build upon a character instead of prestiging them back to level 1. It's ultimately more satisfying to pour yourself into a character over time than it is to just sort of have them loop from level 20 back to 1 and slowly build up your other characters with one point of constitution each time or something. And now for the real nitty gritty. Bioware, please give us WoW style arena duels. Can you imagine the combat of Dragon Age in a 4v4 PvP arena? Imagine that tactical class-based coordination coming to blows as two teams with different compositions take each other on. There could be such depth in the strategizing and planning stage. Further, this mode could give Dragon Age a competitive following, seeing as the popularity of spectating games like Dota and StarCraft has skyrocketed. In fact, taking this idea even further, imagine a Dota-esque MOBA-style mode in Dragon Age, where two teams of four Inquisitors attempt to capture points and push their enemies back in a Smite-esque matchup. Games like the aforementioned Competitive Giants are still popular years and years after their releases because of the dynamic human element that they include in their gameplay. When you're playing Dragon Age's instances over and over and over, you see the same enemies in the same environments and situations repeatedly. Oh hey Rock Guy, how you doing? It's been a while, it's been like 20 minutes or something, right? When you're playing a round of Dota, there may only be one map, but every round is a completely different experience because your primary enemies are thinking, feeling human beings sitting at their own computers and trying to win for their own reasons. Another interesting idea could be a sort of asymmetrical Dungeon Master mode in which one player directs the actions and makeup of the enemy hordes. Different scenarios would arise every playthrough, and even if you were limited to the three maps available currently, each time you loaded in you would have no idea what to expect from your foes. The types of enemies that you find and their strategies could be completely different from every other time you've ever played. Moreover, this could evolve into much more than just a map editor type deal, and allow players to have a digital Dungeons & Dragons sort of experience in which the Dungeon Master can present them with in-depth decisions or narrative scenarios that unfold as you make your way through. Overall, Inquisition's multiplayer is a truly great start. As a standalone multiplayer experience, it's extremely fun, rewarding, and well-paced, but with little staying power once you level your favorite character to completion. However, as a platform upon which Bioware will inevitably expand, this game could be huge. <laughs>